and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'll be working with another die set from Susan Tierney Cockburn's latest collection. This one's called Susan's Garden Favorites and this flower is the Freesia and what I've already done is stamped or sorry, die cut the two different petal shapes from tissue paper and this is a palette that I like to work um, off of when I'm working with my gelatos because there's a little bit of uh, toothiness to the um, plastic palette so when you rub your gelato over it it'll actually grab and, and pick up a lot of that and so I'm just gonna sponge on some color onto these petals and I folded my tissue paper in um, four so that every die cut every pass through the die cutting machine gives me four layers and when I sponge on this color it's actually um, I'm actually holding down two layers at a time because tissue paper is so thin and um, to get the gelato to really sort of move and smoothly uh, color these um, layers of tissue paper I do have to use a little bit of water and so I'm trying to be careful not to tear the petal too much but the reason that I'm actually using um, tissue paper though is because um, and I wasn't overly worried about tearing and ripping um, because I am actually going for a dried pressed flower look and so what I'm doing is just dabbing a um, little, little bit of glue into the center of these petals and because it's tissue paper it really, it really doesn't take a lot of glue and in particular this one did tear so I just sort of layered it back up again <laughs> and you'll see in a moment that um, none of that will matter because as um, you probably know if you've ever seen sort of dried and uh, pressed flowers it all gets smushed anyways so this is how I'm gonna smush it so I'm folding it in half with the pretty side out on the outside so that you can see all that beautiful inking and I'm just going to squish it <laughs> and um, and uh, sort of get it to be different sizes uh, so some of these I'll um, I'll fold in half but I won't squish them together too much so that they are a little bit larger and then I'm gonna do the um, same thing with or something similar anyways with the stem as well so this is just a mix of um, a green that I thought was a little bit too bright with a um, more coffee color and that straight away ages it and you can see as I lifted my finger there I did tear uh, this layer and um, but I, that's okay because you know I'll work with I'll work with whatever I have left <laughs> basically um, but I do have these extra leaves too so in the die set you get the stem that actually has the I guess the buds where the flower would grow out of and then you get some extra leaves as well and so I'm just gonna ink up uh, several and I'm doing the exact same thing here where this is actually two layers of tissue paper because it's so so thin and so delicate but I'm trying to give um, you know as one set of leaves dries um, I'll go back uh, work on another set and then when that first set dries I'll go back over it just to build up that color and get it a little bit a little bit more intense a little bit darker and I'll do the same on um, on this stem piece too now that it's dry I can kind of go back in with a little bit more color and um, and get that inked up Okay, so now because I'm going for this pressed uh, flower look, I found um, this piece of uh, pattern paper that actually just has prints as if it's part of a book. So the look I'm going for is that this is actually going to be sort of the page in the book where, where you've put your flower so that you could press and dry it. And I'm just inking around the edges with Walnut Stain Distress Oxide to give this more of that aged vintage look 
And now I'll start to build up my card. So I've got this piece of uh, craft color card that I also inked up with walnut stain as well. And when I flipped that over, it looks so pretty. I, I actually hesitated for a moment um, <laughs> thinking that maybe I'll use this because it even has a flower on the back. But I thought it would be a little bit too busy and um, went to stick with my original idea that this is going to be sort of the book page where uh, this flower was pressed and I'm bringing my phone on the screen here because this is the that was the photo that I used as inspiration for um, how a that was like an actual dried pressed freesia flower so I wanted to get a sense for how much of the color is actually retained after it's dried and um, and so I took that as inspiration and went to reference it really quickly before I um, put this down. So there you saw me peel off, you know, that second layer. But um, what I'm ultimately going to do is because tissue paper is just so translucent with um, especially with the stem portion, um, because it doesn't get scrunched up in the same way that the flower gets scrunched up and has multiple layers. I am going to end up sticking the, um, the second, uh, die cut that I prepared right over top of this. And that just helps to make it a little bit more, um, a little bit more solid on the page so that you can actually see it a little bit better. Um, if this were going to be sort of a background, uh, element that, you know, would have something else over top of it. I think that translucency of the tissue paper would actually be kind of cool. But because I'm I'm wanting this to be the focal image of my card. And so that's why I didn't I felt like it needed to be a little bit more um a little bit more visible. And this this is the one that that tore so I just have like a partial piece of it here, but I think it's going to still help to um, have that second layer. And so I'll stick that down and get my um, leaves all set. And I found this method of just putting some glue onto a scrap piece of cardstock and then you know sliding that under your die cut a really um, uh, more efficient way of sticking down something as delicate as tissue paper because it's really hard to put glue directly onto the tissue paper uh, like I would a die cut and then and then try to put that onto my project. I found that it was a lot easier to just tack down you know one end of the stem and then um, slide some glue underneath it for the rest of the bits. And um, so I've tacked down my flowers and now just to just to anchor this flower onto this um this card I'm going to just take my gelato my paper towel that I'm using here it's a little bit damp um I just spritz some water right on my cutting mat so that I can um get as much water as I needed and I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow um to this um uh, card where um, the flower is. I think that helps to sort of anchor it onto the page, maybe give the impression that, you know, the moisture from the flower sort of seeped into that paper and sort of caused that staining. And the last thing to finish up this card is to add a sentiment to it. Now with this sort of vintage book kind of feel. I thought that using my demo label with this sort of old school um, style uh, would be the perfect uh, way to, um, or style of sentiment. But I do want to pop it up on a little bit, just some of my low profile foam. It's only one millimeter thick, so it's not going to um, make this um, cost extra to ship or anything, but it will give it just that little bit of extra dimension to uh, give it some lift off of the card. So here is my final card. I always try to go super realistic with um, Susan's flower sets, but I kind of like 
this pressed flower look. So I'm going to go back to some of um, her older flower die sets and um, try to do the same as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you want to catch new videos as I publish them, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing the notification bell. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Bye!